Oh, yeah, YouTube. Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, as always, Paul S. Stuffy Esquire. And we got a special, special treat for you today. We're doing top three theme songs. That is not what you're thinking. Not television theme songs, but a theme song you would want to play every time you walked into a room, your own personal theme song. Thinking you have, think about a guy following you around with a boom box playing your favorite hits so you can strut into it. So we're gonna do three because we've got four. That's right, four special guests today. And for the first time ever, we have Q Diggity, my co-host from Cooking with Q Diggity, which we haven't been able to film, the barbecue pitmaster himself, and for special treat, he'll be joining in. So let's throw it over to Q Diggity. Easy with the applause, brother. Uh, My yeah. Is uh, Always on the Run by Lenny Kravitz. Uh, most of you know I live a very active lifestyle, and I'm always on the run. Any chance I get. That and for some reason I think someone's chasing me. I don't know who they are or what they want, but uh, I'll be damned if they're going to catch me. So well, uh, hey, uh, Q Diddy, great pick. I thought something with your uh, style going. I thought we were going with something with NWA, but hey, maybe that's uh, coming down the line a little bit. Yeah, I'm easy to kill. Can't go roll with them. Great, great pick. Awesome guitar, and I think most of these are going to be uh, guitar-oriented, uh, especially with the, the beginnings. Oh, That's yeah. I guess. Yeah, I mean, if I was in a band and I could open up a show, that would be it, baby. And uh, you let it play long enough, you get some horns, too. It's great. <laughs> Maybe there'll be some horns coming up. All right, well, I'm going to go uh, next. Uh, you know, this reminds me of wrestlers. That's why I li love doing this. It reminds me of wrestlers walking in, and that's that's how I'm thinking about this. And uh, I'm going with number three, my digital virtual background. I'm using records today, and I'm going with Welcome to the Jungle. What a Great shock. guitar riff, heavy guitar riff. As soon as you hear it, you know it's the sounds of Slash. So Welcome to the Jungle, ultimate, one of the ultimate uh, coming in songs, in my opinion. Great, great pick, RCW. Um, you know what? We had some. Uh, we had a fan of ours wonder about our top five in the a whole uh, our top five nineties rock that uh, Guns N' Roses was left out. So he'll be happy to know there'll be a couple Guns N' Roses song on this list. Well, and we should have done a disclaimer for that because we had a whole side topic of that we're not going to pick Guns N' Roses for that nineties because we would have basically all picked Guns N' Roses for our number one band. Yes. I mean, the yes. tattooed on my arm. For CW, I don't think you should explain yourself, pal. Uh, I don't think this guy's a true fan. Sometimes we don't do this for the fans. We do this for ourselves. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move on to my number one pick. Um, and, and as you guys can see, it's ACDC, TNT. When I walk in the room, I want people to know I'm dangerous because that's what I am. I mean, so lock up your daughter, lock up your wife, lock up your back door, run for your life. The man is back in town, so don't you mess around. It doesn't get better than that. That's how I want to be known. That's what I want people to see when I walk in. It's so that's kind of a pick. You're walking into the door, it's going to explode. It's that much. That's it's right. Blow up. That's how I'm high energy TNT. All right, right, we're gonna keep on this. Uh, this guy sparks flair when he walks <laughs> into a room, and I'm just protecting myself. Yeah, that's why we all got sunglasses on, huh? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna kick it over to uh, Paul Stuffy with his uh, first pick. Oh, uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna duck down as always. Uh, this, this pick, uh, ZZ Top, sharp dressed man. I'm not necessarily gonna walk into the room, that's why it's only in the number three position. This is a song I'm going to be blaring in my closet while I'm getting dressed to go out for a night on the town. Because, And even though it's got a great opening guitar riff, I'm into the lyrics too, man. You know, clean shirt, new shoes. And then, uh, you know, 
silk suit, black tie. I mean, it's just a great song. And a great memory I have uh, with this song is for some reason, I had to drive RCW's Camaro home from a bonfire way out in the BFE somewhere. And uh, ZZ Top was in the CD player, man. I just blasted it all the way home, flooring that bitchin' Camaro on the freeway, listening to ZZ Top. So, yeah, this is my getting ready song that my uh, main man's going to be blasting behind me as I'm getting ready to go. So, number three, ZZ Top, Sharp Dressed Man. You aren't missing out a single thing. So If I think of one person when I hear that tune. It's Mr. Stuffle up against, no doubt. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, what's uh, what's next, uh, Mr. Q Diggity? Oh, yeah, I'm new to this and I forgot. I can't even see out my sunglasses. Number two, I have Shaky Ground by The Temptations. Uh, once in a while, I say things I don't. I wish I wouldn't say that are. I'm just being a jerk. Sometimes I do things that I'm embarrassed of. And when I walk back into a room once in a while, I feel like I'm on shaky ground. And uh, yeah. I need to fill it up with four leaf clovers, like they say right off the bat. Great drum intro, the bass, funky guitar. Just a fantastic tune, baby. Uh, Motown. We all love Motown. We're from Detroit. We all grew up on it. It's uh, The music will never go out of style. Awesome pick. And we are, uh, for those who don't know Q Diggity, Temptations is probably his favorite band. Favorite band, yeah. You've been saying that since high school. It's going to be on Mount Rushmore. Steve, Stevie's trying to push him out, but uh, they're head to head, baby. Give the Funk Brothers a little shout out. I feel like they never got enough attention. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep, they could easily replace the Beatles in any kind of uh, recording. Ain't that right, RC Dubs? <laughs> <laughs> Those no playing MFers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Q Diggity. Uh, great pick. Uh, what's going on with yours, RCW? Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm feeling some high voltage. I'm feeling some dynamite. And I'm going to go with ACDC's debut album, but I'm not picking TNT. Before blowing up, I feel like I'm a rocker more than uh, blowing up. So it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And uh, that's my pick. It's, it's the first song on side one, and it opens up this album. And it gives you a feeling of like what this whole album is about. The only sad thing about it is I feel like that song was at the max and the album might have went down just a little bit even with the tnt song but uh yep it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll then go with anything too at work anything it's you know a lot of hard hard work can go into you know being in a rock band traveling and everything working hard work it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll so that's a great rock and roll pick. I can't argue with ACDC. As you can see, I had it on my list already. Obviously, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, more my high uh, more high voltage, and I tell you, you're at the top with them picks. That are <laughs> that's a long way long. I feel like I'm a long way. For anybody so, 40 plus might think that. I mean, you know, with the kids these days don't even know what we're talking about. Yes, this <laughs> list is not for the kiddies. But no. uh, my number two is, uh, as you can see, Guns N' Roses. Um, I am going with, we got it. Can, I totally forgot what I was going to do. Ah, you Could Be Mine. One of the coolest intros, probably not my favorite Guns N' Roses song, but that intro gets going, gets me hyped, gets me in there. I'm a cold heartbreaker, fit to burn, and I'll rip your heart in two. Come on. Is that not awesome? That's how I feel when I go in there. I'm getting hyped. People are going to know who I am, and, you know, it's some of Axel's best lyrics ever in a song, so that would be my uh, second pick, and uh, can't go wrong, Guns N' Roses. Yeah, that's great for movie, sure. Great music video. Yeah. Sorry, RC. Axel Dude. definitely sings with emotion, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, dude, it was featured on the Terminator 2 album, or uh, movie, which, dude, what a great album, or great movie. Uh Everything's great about the song. Yeah, 
Uh, Jay Goobles likes sequels. Young Guns 2. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, that brings me to uh, my pick. I'm going to duck down. So, you know, 70s disco. I mean, I don't think disco was given enough credit. And certainly the Bee Gees uh, were a big part of Saturday Night Fever album. But staying alive. So I already had my song to get dressed to. Now I'm ready to hit the street. I got my George Jefferson swagger on. <laughs> I'm going down the road, and I'm playing Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. And again, the lyrics do it for me. Oh, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a ladies' man or a woman's man. No time to talk. <laughs> just again, the lyrics are perfect for when you just hit the street strutting. So, uh, and I'll probably have a big collar on and a white leisure suit. So, again, it's perfect for us, uh, Stuffy. Hell yeah. I, I mean, when I think of Paul Stuffy, I think of staying alive, baby. Absolutely. You knock John it goes along, and it goes along with your favorite comedy movie, Buggy Nights. Yeah. 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 I, I, in fact, we're going to – we need to redo the scene with Cosmo uh, for Buggy Nights. We're going to redo a couple of scenes, and then we should do the dance scene and try to all learn that dance they do in the uh, club. We tried doing that in Canada at Bentley's. Uh, it never worked out for me, though. You know, you start doing donkey kicks. But that's yeah. for another episode. Yeah, I think we had too many cocktails uh, in those days. You got to bring it if you're going to beat Mr. Stuff in a dance-off, that's for sure. Oh, the donkey uh, kicks? Yeah. <laughs> we could do a whole episode on donkey kicks. Yes, <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. I think uh, where are we at? We're back to Q Diggity for his uh, final pick. Yeah, my final pick. I got this from, uh, you know, one of the pillars of this show, RC Double O, and uh, Dragon and Dirty by Luther Allison. He uh, told me about this tune. I got a reputation <laughs> of being dirty, and I'm definitely ragged. And uh, <laughs> it just starts off great. Uh, just some tapping drums. Harmonica hits right away. Got some organ going. Uh, wild and reckless, born in Texas. Uh, if that ain't me, I don't know what is. I was born in Gross Point, and I'm um, pretty boring, but uh, I'm reckless. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think you know that song is that that kind of came out of left field. That one. Yeah, not I can a song, picture not you. Not a lot of. of it's one of those songs that not a lot of people have heard of, but yeah, it's a great song. And, um, you know, it fits you for a time being, Ryan. It always it reminded me of you and you kind of took off with it. Yeah. I got my cleanest dirty shirt on right now. I, I was going through a couple, uh, old Jay Goobles used to have, uh, the Sanford and Sung tune play when I'd call him. That was up there. I had to go with something, uh, something that fit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can picture you, uh, Work in the barbecue pit at Tug and Smokes with that song playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. All right. Um, well, I'm a Michigan guy, and, uh, you know, Ryan went with Motown, and I'm going with the Motor City Madman, Uncle Ted, the Nuge, all nicknames given by him. Um, <laughs> hey, put his politics aside. The guy is one of the greatest guitar players of all time, and Stranglehold is one of the greatest guitar riffs in rock and roll history. And he's underrated because of his politics. I've always said this, Rolling Stone magazine did a 50 top guitar players, and Ted Nugent was not in it, and I believe it was because of his politics. But look at that, playing a Birdland guitar, a Gibson guitar, Michigan made. His tone, just pure rock and you know give you the confidence hearing that riff and walking in somewhere can give you confidence for at least 30 seconds definitely one of the coolest intros ever to a song maybe number one in my book yeah, the tigers would that, come out with it yeah i mean that would have been that we've discussed this before that probably would have been my number one as well rcw so obviously i think that's a great pick i'm with you there i tell you politics left side right side it's knocking both socks off, baby. It's coming at you. It's, it, yeah, heavy, heavy riffs. That's what I like. All right, fellas. With my last and final pick, as you can see, ZZ Top. And let me tell you a little something about ZZ Top. There is no one cooler 
in rock history than Billy Gibbons. And he's bad, and he's nationwide. And that's kind of how I feel Jay Goobles is. I'm bad. I'm nationwide. That's where I'm going with. Uh, just, well, I'm not even going to give you one line, because every line of that song is awesome and how cool he is. That's how I feel when I walk into a room. So that would be my number one pick, guys. Just awesome guitar, awesome, awesome everything. That I, don't would be my Billy, final I don't think Billy Gibbons has ever done anything that's not cool. And he even said, he goes, hey, we're not a blues band. We're interpreters of the blues. You know, it's like, yeah, are you just that cool? You can just, everything you say and do and look is just cool. I agree. The cars. I he, Jimi Hendrix said, Billy Gibbons was his favorite guitar player. That's how cool he is. Yeah. <laughs> He's a badass. He's bad right. nationwide. Hey, All right. Jay Goobles. Jay Goobles, you're a long way from uh, having a beard, though, that would uh, rival him. You got to keep working on it. That, that, that yeah, I think you're still rocking the goatee there, it looks like, from uh, our 90s no. video. I, I, had to, I had to cut off the stash. I cut off the stash. Okay, uh, so thanks to the miracle of technology, I'm actually going to edit in, when I edit this video, the actual music, because it's the only song that uh, we own the copyright to here uh, on the channel. So I'm talking about local artists, RCW, and the Stuffy theme song. Three, so two, well, what else would I walk into a room with? Uh, so, you know, I'm getting dressed to ZZ Top. I'm hitting the streets to the Bee Gees, but I'm going to walk into the room to my own theme song because I'm, I'm stuffy, you know, so I got to have my own theme song. So the stuffy theme song featured on this channel, original riff by RCW is going to be my number one. No, wow, I'm flattered. I'm the simplicity of uh, how I play the guitar, but I'm flattered. Thank you, that, Mr. I mean, That's almost like cheating, because none of us have actually have our own theme song. Well, I mean, yeah, but we're on the Stuffy Style Network, so, <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> Stuffy's got to have his own theme. When I'm getting stuffed, that's for sure. <laughs> He's all about customize, you know? You, yeah. I'm a little bit vintage, and I'm a little bit, uh, you know, retro mixed with uh, new age. I can't <laughs> help it. If it's cool and it's interesting, you got it, baby. Yeah. I mean, hey, we wear sunglasses in the closet. We, we think a little bit differently. That's true. That's true. Yep. There's, there's only two kinds of people that wear sunglasses inside. Blind people and assholes. And neither, none of us are blind, so. <laughs> yeah. Assholes. So uh, that's, per that's a perfect uh, end note right there, man. Peace out, YouTube. See you, too. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that did. I think that went pretty good. Yeah, I was yeah. talking.